On this episode, I'm going to share my arsenal of hidden and not so hidden color grading shortcut keys for the color page in DaVinci Resolve. These shortcut keys will not only save you time, but they'll boost your workflow efficiency. I guarantee you'll use them on every project, and you'll never go back to editing without them. Let's get you working like a pro. I'll start by reviewing the ones that you should already know. I will mention the shortcut keys for Windows and Mac. The most basic yet essential shortcut keys are the ones associated with adding serial nodes before and after a selected node. Shift S places a serial node before a selected node, while Alt S or Option S places one after. For those of you that use parallel, layer, or outside nodes, Alt P or Option P adds a parallel node, Alt L or Option L adds a layer node, and Alt O or Option O adds an outside node. A shortcut key you'll probably already know is Apply Color Grade. If you're new to color grading, this is a must have. With any number of clips selected, you can apply the color grade from any other clip whose grade you want to copy by middle clicking the mouse scroll wheel on that clip. Be aware, this will replace whatever grade you currently have on your selected clips. If you only need to copy a node from one node graph to another, simply copy with Ctrl C or Command C and paste with Ctrl V or Command V. Now let's move on to shortcut keys for organizing nodes more efficiently within a node structure. Sometimes you'll want to temporarily remove a node from its current position and place it in another. To do this, press the E key. This will detach the node from the node tree. To insert it back elsewhere within the sequence, drag and hover the node over a connection line until you see a plus sign. Then release the node to place it there. However, you can also choose to leave the node floating if you prefer. As a follow-up, you can swap node places by holding down the Control or Command button while dragging a node and releasing it onto another node. This will effectively cause both nodes to switch places. One of the shortcut keys I use the most is Control D or Command D. This shortcut key disables one or more selected nodes. This is necessary for comparing your before and after color grading decisions. However, to bypass the entire node tree, use Shift D. You can also toggle the color grade bypass with this icon above the viewer. Shift Home will reset a single node, while Control Home or Command Home will clear the entire node tree, leaving a single default node in place. For completeness, delete backspace or shift backspace will delete a selected node, but most of you knew that already. Now, although no shortcut key has been assigned to renaming a node yet, setting a shortcut key for that not only saves time, but it maintains your creative focus, and I know you'll never go back to right-clicking to rename nodes again. To set a shortcut key for this, go up to the application menu bar and click on DaVinci Resolve, then select Keyboard Customization. From left to right, under Active Key, choose Application. Next, under Commands, scroll down and select Color. Then to the right of that, scroll down and select Nodes. Click the disclosure arrow to expand the tree list and scroll down to Label Selected Node. I have already assigned mine to Shift Backslash, but if this is your first time assigning a shortcut key to this function, you will see an empty box to the right. It will display a red box when you click in it. Enter Shift Backslash or whatever unused shortcut key you want. If you assign a shortcut key that is already assigned to another command, you'll get a warning. If you didn't get a warning, click Save. Now, don't close just yet. While we're here, another shortcut key that isn't assigned by default is the Cleanup Node Graph command. Under Commands to the left, scroll down a little more to Panels and select Color Nodes. To the right, scroll up and select Clean Up Selected Node Graphs. Again, enter an unused shortcut key. I chose Alt Backslash. Click Save and Close. Here's a quick demo of me renaming nodes without right-clicking. And using what we learned before, I'll insert a node before the selected node and rename it. Lastly, I'll clean up the node graph using the shortcut key we assigned. 
The next three shortcut keys have to do with the relative size of the viewer, which offer a more effective way of seeing more of your image while working with the color palettes and effects. First, Alt F or Option F enters you in enhanced viewer mode, which hides the side panels of the viewer but keeps the color grading tools visible so you get a little more viewer real estate and less distraction while color grading. When paired with the scroll wheel to zoom in and out of an image, and middle clicking the scroll wheel to drag the image around, you get much more precision monitoring. If your scroll wheel is not clickable, you can use Control Shift Scroll to move the viewer image horizontally, or Control Alt Scroll to move vertically. For Mac, it would be Command Shift Scroll and Command Option Scroll, respectively. Next, Shift F is Full Page Viewer. This hides the color grading panel and expands the viewer to show the playback controls on the bottom and gives you access to the viewer modes on the bottom left. It also maintains access to the timeline, node, and effects panels. What makes this shortcut key so handy is if you have the effect panel active with an effect loaded on a node, this shortcut key will display the current node's effect control panel on the right. This is ever so useful for previewing the changes of effect inserts. Lastly, Control F or Command F is Cinema Viewer. This lets you preview your progress full screen. Now, what good are viewer shortcut keys without a shortcut key to reset the image to fill the viewer? The Z key will fit the image to fill the viewer. This also works on the edit page as well. As a pro tip, if at any point you see that the image in your viewer looks too zoomed in or zoomed out, try the Z shortcut key before going into your project settings to modify the resolution. To finish up, here are two shortcut keys that you can use on the custom curves palette. Holding down the shift button will snap a point to the line, while holding down the alt or option button will constrain linear motion along that line. Unfortunately, these keys are only available for the default linear slope, meaning these keys won't have any effect along a custom curve. By the way, for those wondering what happened to the tri palette view, where you see the primary and secondary palettes on the color grading tools, I toggled between the dual palette and tri palette view by clicking on keyframes, then the split view toggle button. And there you have it my color page shortcut key arsenal for maximum color grading efficiency. I believe these shortcut keys will significantly boost your productivity. And while these are just a fraction of the shortcut keys available, they are the ones that I use on every project. As always, thank you for watching, and until next time, go capture that once-in-a-lifetime moment.